So the 11 is out. Uh, for those who are currently joining us, thank you for joining us here at Football in 90 Live. We are currently at Montego Bay Sports Complex where the reggae boys will take on Chidida and Tobago Sofa Warriors. Uh, a lot of interesting story leading up to, to this match today too. And I can tell you um, from from my end that the John Richards is indeed a Chelsea player based on the information that we are receiving. Yeah. And that's good news for Jamaica football. Yeah, um, I think it's really good news. Um, it's been like 15 years, 10 to 15 years where we were like, is there going to be a, a wave of Jamaican players jumping directly from Jamaica or local leagues, um, high school, and getting the opportunity to represent overseas and getting those big contracts. And um, seeing their life Last five years, we've seen a bunch of Jamaican players leave Jamaica directly from our local leagues, you know, and, and to, to secure contracts overseas, especially in Europe. And it is a good sign for our football program. Indeed, JT, I, I hope you're seeing the start in 11. Yeah, I'm seeing so the in 11. Uh, a lot of experience here, you know, yeah. local players, and also the experience in Maria by India as well, the likes of um, Ravel Morrison. Is in the starting yeah. level as well, and what players like Ravel and Mario will bring is a wide, you know, variety of experience at yes. the international level. You see Hutchinson there as well from from Chelsea. Yeah. So you can see there's a Chelsea connection going on <laughs> within the Jamaica football as we speak. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm looking at them now. They're out there. They're going through their warm up drills. Uh, yeah. But looking at them, there's a level of confidence. You can see a level of high level of confidence from, from the John Richards. And the, the Trinidad and Tobago team, they're, they're walking out as we speak. But as it stands, JT, the Jamaica team is in a good mood. You would have heard it yeah. from Coach from here, Al Grimson, that you know, there's quality here in Jamaica. Yep. And tonight we're going to see some players. We're going to see our players who are going out there tonight to perform. And hopefully the result will go in our way. Well, as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of experience within the squad to really get this over the line. Yeah. Um, I think what Coach Huggins is doing is, um, you know, as you see, it's mainly local-based players. He's just trying out the players and see who's really ready for the upcoming, the upcoming serious games that we'll have over the, over the next two years. And you, hear, you heard him say, you know, he has, we have four games, two against Trinidad, Guatemala, Mexico. And, um, you know, he's just using this to see players and see the right players for the program. So I, th I, think, I think the players the players themselves, too, will go out there and perform to prove themselves to the, to the gaffer. Indeed, you see, you see Foster there in the starting level. Um, I'm really happy for him. Uh, JT, like I said, Coach Algrimson would have mentioned, you know, some key aspects leading up to this week. We're training is concerned. The sessions were, were, were well done. The yeah. players are into, they are, they are ready to, for the task at hand. And so we are here at, at the Montego Bay Sports Complex where the reggae boys will take on Trinidad and Tobago Soka Warriors. I'm expecting a physical game from the Trinidad, of from course. The Trinidad team. <laughs> yeah, really, really expecting a, a physical game. But with the experience of the Jamaica team in terms of the players who are coming from overseas, and you know, it is all about learning from, from the experience and exposure. This is this is not necessarily about results for yeah. for, 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 for either coach, but to see what they have in terms of talent yeah. going forward into the nation, into the Gold Cup. And we we can't uh, we, we needed this Jamaica fraternity, the people of Jamaica, the fans of Jamaica football, but they were asking for this. They were asking for local players to get right. some experience and exposure at the national level. Yeah. And you know, the man who took Iceland to the World Cup That's right. draw with, with, with Argentina is the head coach of the Jamaica men's national team today. And hopefully we're going to see some different aspects of, in terms of our, our play, you know, in terms of our possession, out of possession. These are things that we'll be looking at, key details, you know, the discipline of the team. And so these are things that we are looking forward to. Yeah, you know, I, um... He knows, he knows how to get a team where, where they need to be. 
And um, definitely, most definitely, you know, um, even though they're using this as a as a as a as two games to work to see where the players are at, you know, there's a rivalry there with Jamaica and Trinidad, you know. And um, in recent times, you know, we have come on the better the better hand of that, and I think Trinidad will definitely come to try and beat us, even though you know the coaches will just see how the players play. Coach Kerry James. <laughs> yep, that's boss. How are you? Good, good. I good, see good. the big manager. Of course. Long time don't see. Long time don't see. Yeah, good I know you you're prefer Dijon. Coach, I know you prefer Dijon to sign for Liverpool, but it doesn't <laughs> go your way this time, bro. This is, is a chance to play. Yeah, um, always good to see local players get a chance, um, you know, to sign for such a big team. So, not a big fan of Chelsea, obviously, <laughs> but today, I have a player at the team. Coach, I'm, 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 I hope you'd have seen the 11. It's an interesting one. Uh, some experience in there as well. I was just saying to JT, you know, these are moments where the Jamaica local red players would, you know, really. You know, really these opportunities. Yeah, no, we don't have a lot of um, overseas players in this game because it's uh, it's uh, not a FIFA window. But um, yeah, so we're looking for local players. I actually didn't see the starting lineup, but I imagine that you would have um, Foster and Gold, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. So, and I, I imagine Maria probably will play centre back with King. Yeah. Um, and you may have Makala. And who, who's the other wing back probably? Um Lemakisa. Lem Lemakisa, okay. Um and then in the midfield I imagine that you would have um the Tottenham player um at defensive mid and you'd probably have I guess um Ravel and Omar Hutchinson, um the other wing yeah. I don't know, busy busy cam um busy Atkinson. Yeah, or, Atkinson, yeah. Atkinson starts, yeah. okay. And then up front, I imagine that you would have Jordan Fletcher and maybe Trevante too. Yeah, that's correct. Um, Coach, um, no, no, no. you nailed that. Coach. Okay. You nailed that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. So a good lineup based on you know based on the players that we have available. So yeah, looking forward to the game. Trinidad is a rival. We know. Um, you know, even though we haven't played them, you know, much in recent times. Yeah. But yeah, looking forward to the game. Guys. Nice. Yes, I have to I have to run. I'm actually broadcasting on two videos this, this evening. <laughs> so I'll be commenting on the game. You guys can go over to YouTube and MSG Sports. Who will bring in the game live here at the Montego Way Sports Company yes, between the regular world versus Trinidad and Tobago Soccer Warriors. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Yes sir. And I'm, I'm just excited and it's an interesting one. For those who are currently joining us, we heard some big news today. John Richards have signed for FC Chelsea, and it seems like the Chelsea reunion within the regular boys camp as we speak because Omar is also a part of the squad as well. Yeah. I'll catch up with you guys. Um, can we get a can we get a panorama of the of the stadium on the field just to see the atmosphere? <laughs> So I'll catch up with you guys. Thank you for joining. Me. All right, coach. No problem, coach. We'll talk. We'll talk Take some care. more later.